Hello everybody, Azumi here, running Ymir's Rampage S1. First up, I'm going to be running Philzius as a tank. And basically all I want him to do is stand there and not die and... Basically that's it, I just don't want to run Solstice in the very front row. So that's the reason he's there. And then Solstice is going to be one of my main damage dealers. And then Amaterasu is my other main damage dealer. And then that's going to leave um, Erd, just to make sure that Amaterasu and Solstice don't die. And last, I'm running Envy. And there we go, so let's go with the fight. Okay, so first your boy Ymir is in the magic row is Yotun and considered to be grounded. His action skill, Innocent Malice, does 140% dark magic attack damage and barrier seal for three turns to all enemies in the connect. Barrier seal applies only, uh, only affects humans, Therians, and Yotun. His auto skill does dark magic attack damage and shadow bound for three turns to all enemies in the connect. Shadow bound only applies to humans, Therians, and Yotun. On S1, he has Chaos Field. On S2, he has High Chaos Field. The most effective elements in this fight are going to be Fire and Light. The Magic Row of Crystals, which are the Dark Ones, do Dark Magic Attack damage for two enemies with the lowest HP and the nearest enemy. Skill Gauge down 10% to all enemies and Counter Attack for three turns to all allies. On S1, he has that they have that plus all stats other than HP 30% down for three turns to the three farthest enemies. The ranged row crystals, which are the earth ones, do earth attack damage and to the two enemies with the lowest HP and the nearest enemy and sure shot for three turns to all allies. On S2, they do that plus frenzy and stone skin for three turns to Ymir and apply a 10 hit barrier to self. Um, some other heroes you could use here are going to be definitely for Seti, Norn, Lindworm, the new Sorticia, um, Loki, Kubira, Angelic Hell, um, Snakeblade Dinah, Valkyrie Rangrid, Machinist Hannah, um, Gatherer Alordra, Aldra, I still want to say the Japanese name. Um, Rhoda works fairly well, so does Poel, and um, you can even use Scald, Raindropper Paso is actually really good for this, and honestly it only took me one try to be able to beat this fight, so it's not really all that hard, it's just avoiding that counterattack. It hits actually really strong, so that's going to be the main issue. Um, the reason I'm using Philzius up front is because with really no attack gear is just he's just there to absorb damage. And as well as his skill also works pretty well too. Um, Solstice and Amaterasu are going to be the main two damage dealers every single time. Um, Erd is just there to make sure that those two don't die. And Envy is... Basically because I didn't really have anybody else that I wanted to run in that position. So she works fairly well because she doesn't get CC'd. And the quick to all males works pretty good. I mean to all females works pretty good too. So the only one who's not going to be affected by that is going to be Philzius. Okay, so here's my damage, and thank you for watching, and have a nice day.